Okay, the only mistake I made is apparently you're supposed to tighten it at the head pipe first and work your way back. Then I uh, lube the chain with some Kawasaki synthetic chain lube. Hey, you see the thumbnail, so you already know that I got myself my exhaust finally. Finally got my exhaust. Came in uh, two pieces because it's a full exhaust, it's not the slip on. So I got the piece that goes right into the, I don't know what, the header? I don't know what a, what it's called on a dirt bike. And then of course the pipe, which, which is supposed to be, I think almost four pounds lighter than the one that's on there. It came with a bunch, everything was pretty much bubble wrapped up and it comes in this big, uh, foam tube with the styrofoam bottom but uh yeah i was thinking about thinking about doing this today i was supposed to be here yesterday it was like 70 degrees yesterday and the rain didn't come in until last night at 10. well now it's like 40, 50 degrees <laughs> and with the wind chill it's like 40 degrees and uh it's everything's wet i see i could Damn wind's blowing the door closed. Can't even hold it open. So, I mean, I can work in the shed, but then I gotta bring electricity out there and string a light. And I may or may not do that. I probably will go at least start to take everything off. But whatever I do, it I'll definitely let you all know. Okay, here we are in the rain, and where I'll be able to get by, and you get the same sound quality because I won't move the camera between uh, now taking this pipe off and putting the new one on. So I'll give you a, I mean, it's gonna be echoey, but maybe I should open this door. Uh, it's probably better for it closed, actually. How you doing? Because uh, I'm so gone. I forgot my socket set. I still gotta go get that. Okay, you got your three sixteenths star head. That's what that's called. It says take off my seat. I don't think I need to take off my seat. Oh, that's still hot, mother. Five minutes. This, this pipe is crazy hot. I'm trying to go down the line here and see what happens. So we got a 12 for these exhaust mounts. You know what? You're gonna put a wrench on the back. Jesus. <clears throat> okay. Um, what the f <laughs> <laughs> See if I 
I got a little, if I got a bigger 12, a longer 12 with more torque. All right, I got a longer 12 and a, uh, another socket set in case I can't do it with this. I guess if this don't work, I'm gonna break out the freaking pneumatic. <laughs> Like a thousand foot pound torque or whatever the hell it is. It's ridiculous. Yep. There we go. That's what I needed. Just a little bit. A little bit extra oomph. one that one is locked piece of square metal so you don't need to put a wrench on that one that's two bolts This one's definitely not near as tight. I don't know what the torque specs are. I would be on the other side, but I'm trying to give you all somewhat of a perspective. Okay, that's a welded nut. It should have presumably just slide right out. Oh, yep, sure will. God, that is way, way heavier than my other one. Definitely super way heavier. Here we are. This bolt right there has got to come off. And there's one right in there. All right, so this one, I can actually get straight on. All right, I can get straight on that one. No, it's hard to see. But that one right, right there, I can get straight on like that. This one is the one I can't get on. That one right back there. So again, I know it's dark, but I don't have a flashlight with me. can get it on straight actually you don't need your you don't need your thing you can slip between these two hoses you can slip between these two hoses and turn your front wheel okay oh sweet that's awesome and there we go Okay, so make sure you put some anti-seize, which comes with it, around the head pipe collar right there. Just, you know, right there, around the edge that's going to fit into the engine. And it should just be a matter of sliding it in there. I don't know, probably got to put it in the back first. This is going to be the hard part. Put it on without cross-threading it. Uh-oh. 
especially if you drop it into your freaking skid plate. Oh my goodness, no good a magnet. Damn it. Yeah, it wouldn't be me doing it. I wouldn't be screwing something up. Oh, thank goodness, it's right here on the other edge. Uh, glory freaking be. Well, maybe not. Nope, nope, nope. It's getting pretty fun. Oh, and now it's not on the edge. I swear to God, if I take off this skid plate. Having fun now, boys and girls. Well, give me an opportunity to clean it up anyway. Now at least when it falls, I can just pick it up, right? And sometime in the next 40 to 50 tries, I'll get it. Can get it on straight actually you don't need your you don't need your thing you can slip between these two hoses you can slip between these two hoses and turn your front wheel slip-on thing. Oh, don't forget your anti-seize. Okay, I've got some anti-seize again and I want to apply it to the to the inside Outside surface of the head pipe exit, as well as to the inside surface of the machine pipe mid collar, which must be this. Okay. Excess here. I can't slide this fucker in. shield and the bolts for it. Hopefully it's not too terribly expensive. And this was up here. Up here like that. And 
that was closed. I was over here. Let's see what happens. maybe and I did just occur to me that I actually have to download the uh, the map for the pro circuit all right let's go put a map on this fucker. okay all done with that and that was pretty insanely simple so, the first time I hooked up this power commander, it was wonky because it was like trying to adjust the, the settings and shit. So, this may be wonky the first time too. But it's got the fuel setting now for the, or the, or the proper map for the uh, Pro Circuit T6 full exhaust with stock air filter and the intake duct. The only mistake I made is apparently you're supposed to tighten it at the head pipe first and work your way back. And I actually just kind of snugged them up in the front and then worked my way from the back to the front. Well, really to the middle. Then I snug, snug, tightened, and then I tightened the rest of them. So, man, she's smoking like a freaking pistol, ain't she? From what I can tell from my quick Google search, it looks like it's totally normal for including the nasty burnt smell depending on how much, I mean this is for a car, but it should be the same. So I'm gonna get everything out of the way and take it for a quick, quick gentle romp. A quick gentle romp. And then I'll attempt to get that skid plate back on. Idea. My bike was actually freshly washed and I've only been on one ride. So I think I won't put my skid plate back on now. 
I think I'll wait and wash it again, wash up the skid plate and then put everything on clean. Probably go ahead and change the oil. No, actually I won't change the oil because it's only been a few rides. But yeah, I'll do that on another date. Lock it up and done for now. Looks like she's basically done smoking. Looks like she's basically done smoking. Man, I love the way that sounds. Uh, she's still smoking. Doesn't smell as bad anymore. Got mud. Mud all over my new exhaust. Son of a bitch. Fuck, I'm mad at myself. I'm going to go and order my heat shield and my nuts. So it's slightly hard to tell on account of a... On account of a boy and big loud noise equates in small man brain as to more power. <laughs> Not necessarily the case. But, uh... And it's wet. So it's also hard to tell. It does feel like more power. I mean... I hit second gear, grass is wet, no tread on the tire, and it still wanted to pop a wheelie. It still got up off the ground, which in my last video the other day, I couldn't even do it at all on dry grass or dry pavement because there wasn't enough in the tire. I mean, I'm sure I could have if I'd done a clutch pop, but I didn't even do a, I didn't even do a suspension bounce, which is my technique. I just literally blipped the throttle and it jumped up on the back wheel, so. Pretty happy. Okay, I don't have much battery left, so hopefully I get this video made before it runs out. I got an extra one in my pocket, but I don't want to open up the GoPro. So uh, it just occurred to me that y'all had a uh, y'all hadn't partake partook partook partaken in this. So I was. Uh, just giving the bike a little ride around earlier and putting some putting some stickers on. A quad lock sticker, put on one of my alien gear holster stickers. Of course my pro circuit racing sticker. Cause I got my new pipe on. Another six hour, because I used to have a six hour there, but it fell off. But anyway, I noticed. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know if it's good that it's spitting freaking fire. Apparently, you know what? It, it probably doesn't have a spark arrester in there. It probably needs a spark arrester. I probably can't ride on OHV with that pipe. Or if they caught me, I'd probably be busted. Because I set some shit on fire. <laughs> but yeah. Me likey. I love that new pipe. And incidentally, I don't know if I said this on camera, but I realized after listening to it that that's the exact same pipe I have in my CFR, CRF, CF, CF, CFR, CRF 250R, the, two, the 2005. So that's interesting enough. <laughs>